Or do you want to sit in the middle? Oh, okay, so okay. Go. Okay. Yeah, no, we're good. All right. Hey, Mrs. Are you tired? Did you fall asleep? What? Did you miss my fate? Oh my god. No. You, did, you did you miss my fate? Did you miss it? You better not have missed my fate. I'll be angry. Come here. Come on, jump up. Say it. Come on, jump up. Come on, jump up. Oh, claim up, claim up, claim up. I think he will go on. Shoot Adam in. Adam. Um, you know what? I, it's very, very hard to put in the words at the minute. I, I'm going to have to watch it back and, and feel it again because that was probably the best, well I can't put it in words, as the best night in my sporting career so far. So we're in more kind of common as well, like I was like a long time ago, I did a couple of tunes as well, and yeah. I was kind of exposed a bit, and you kind of come around with 10,000 young people, and you're wondering why you're going to bring those right behind you, I mean, just what was, what was that thing? Um, you know what, all day, I, I was, I, I'm going to be honest, I was nervous, it was, it was, the unexpected for me because I've, I've experienced big, big atmospheres uh, already in my career, but I knew this would be different. And it was a bit of the unknown uh, and, and daunting at times during, during the day. And I was a bit more serious today, if I'm honest. And then even in this chain room when we're in here, I was more serious. Um, focused and, and I was running the goal from the start he, he kept having to tell me to calm down and relax and, and slow down my warm up and stuff because I was ready to go and uh, it's the experience is that from, from his side but once once I arrived in that dirty change room and I heard a noise it was like the debut all over again I felt I'm home I, I, and I just I, I added up I, I enjoyed the ring walk I savoured it I bloody sang the, on my way to the ring um, and even in the ring I was singing so I loved it, and as soon as I set, like, I got in the ring, I got a bit of moving, finished singing a wee bit, and then I locked eyes, and it was game time, and I think if anybody's seen from rings, I had just a, a steely focus there on him. Yeah, listen, Ruiz is, is no joke. I, I made him look more normal than than what he actually is. I think the first, I, I know. Listen, I know I'm not the biggest puncher in the world, but I have part of respect to get respect from people. And I think from the first jab, he had to respect me, and that that's what it was. That was kind of I stung him of it, and then and he didn't really want to commit too much. Um, but as I broke him down and started to switch more, I switched early. He was kind of on it. He knew I was going to switch. But as to get, get on and did and end up hurt my hand, um, I think four or five, maybe even six it was. So it made me have to switch a bit more because it was actually hurting me jab. No, no, it only hurt it because it was I was casting jabs, jabs, jabs the whole time, um, and on the top of his head too. So the, actually hurting my hand was probably a better thing because it, it put me in the position which I needed to be in to get the finish. You find yourself again, Michael, having to chase an opponent. Yeah. I feel you can be even more impressive and actually you have somebody who is going to come. Well, well we, we thought, listen, I've thought everybody who's meant to come at me is meant to come at me, but he he kind of had a bit more ambition that, than the rest of them who, who have been in there. But as it says, it's, it's I, I'm not, I know I'm not the biggest punch in the world, but I have, I have enough of my shots to make people respect me and not commit and not just rush forward. Now? I, th- taking a two I think so. Listen, I think you know when I was in there, I had to figure some things out, um, and actually the hurt my hand made, made me actually get in there a bit more and, and, and stick in a bit lower and, and, and sink in those body shots. So um, yeah, it was, it was good to actually get it done because I I, I can do it in the gym, the gym all the time and, and I, I probably perform better than that in the gym, but you know that doesn't matter because you have to do under the lights and tonight was a. Uh, a high pressure situation and I was able to go in and, and, and pull it out. What do you think that's the big long lead 
Uh, listen, it's, it's boxing. Yeah. You can't go out in the rain without getting wet. So um, I don't think I was hit too often because I feel really fresh. Um, usually when you come out of a fight, even if you don't get hit, sometimes your head and everything is sore. So I don't even feel that. I, f I actually feel really good. Um, it, he, he didn't bother me at all. Um, and he has near as much knockouts as I have fight. So um, no, nah, it was good. Listen, I'm happy. It was good. You have, you have, to, you have to experience being hit in there because... In fairness, you're right. I haven't been, I haven't been hit much. And I actually said to Adam, you know, what? I'm actually going to probably get hit in this one. What, what's going on? It can be a bit more nerves. That's one thing. What was it doing for your career, really? Like, not being in this fight, but the experience of being actually double, kind of soaking this sort of thing and dealing with that sort of pressure, dealing with that really pressure at the moment, taking a mic, practice, whatever, what actually got an actual fight and finish? I think it does a lot because, you know, it's not even about the opponent, it's not even about the performance. It's about getting in there and performing. In, in those high high pressure situations, not many people ever experience atmospheres like that. And when they do, it's sink or swim, you know. And, and a lot of people do sink. So I know I have that. I, I, I've no one I've had that. But the fact that I went in there and got the performance and got the guy out of there, I think I needed to get him out of there to kind of yeah. seal a good one. And I did. You know, I'm happy. Yeah, you feel it. You feel nightmare in terms of the work. So. Um, if I'm honest. I could sit here and I could start saying what's next and who's next and, and what I want to do next, but I'm not even going to today because I go on holiday on, on Tuesday. Um, this was probably, the be as I said, the best thing in sport my sporting career so far. And if you don't savor nights like this, your career goes in the blink of an eye. So the fact that this, is, this has happened, I don't need to think about what's next. I know how good I am. I know where I can be in the next year. So there's no point in me shouting and screaming right now when, you know, I've just spent four months of my life training hard and people are going to go, what's next? You know what I mean? There's no point in even thinking like that yet. Yeah. You know what? There would have been three by this stage because we're in the box June. But um, that was kind of put back for the Nikitin fight because he was going to box June 2, but there would have been risk of him being cut and injured. So uh, we kind of put that one back. But, you know, uh, who knows? There will be a few more this year. Yeah, Sman says, Robin says, well, you know, as well, it's like a flex or switch to this kind of bit that they're really kind of plowing on and kind of together as you're doing. And obviously, that's what they're doing. Yeah, listen, this was, I felt. The last six, seven months with, with Adam, this year, really, everything we've been working on has kind of came in as one. Um, and, and the understanding of everything together, him, him knowing all my abilities and, and, and teaching me the things that I need to do and, and perfecting the things which I need to perfect. Um, we've been working on strenuously in the gym all the time. And, and it's, it's the days I, I said to him one day, like, I love the hard training sessions where you're busting yourself, but there's been about 10 sessions, maybe more, in this camp where I've actually texted him after saying that was probably, it was just technical. And it wasn't like high energy or anything. I texted him and said, that's probably the best session I've ever done in my life. And it wasn't, it wasn't one where you busted yourself, it was just learn and learn and learn. I felt the, the, the learning in this one has been different. My, my attitude has been different, which is probably the main thing. I, I've, I've thought about it and said, this new, boxing's a short career. I have her, I have him. Um, so much stuff happens, so much tragedies happen in boxing nowadays, um, well, which are happening sorry, recently. Um, so, you know, make the most way you can and, and then to get out. <laughs> Your assessment, Adam, of the performance? I think it's his best performance to date. Um, it was actually a bit too comfortable. I thought he, where his jab was so efficient and effective at the start of the fight, it kept Ruiz at bay, but it also kept Michael at bay. So he then couldn't find the next position to be hurtful. So made a couple of little adjustments with his head movement just to get a little bit closer to be more hurtful to the body. He says he's not a puncher, but he, he is a hell of a body puncher. Everyone he spars with, if he hits them to the body, they're always hurt. Um, he's a much harder puncher to the body than he is in the head. And what we're doing is we're working on sort of southpaw and orthodox stuff in the gym constantly so he can box long and fight in the inside. And I, and I think that today, there were moments where he's showing now that what I'm seeing in the gym is starting to show out under the spotlights. And for me, that's the exciting thing because he's ready for that. 
step up to the next level. Is the next level, we're talking about top 10 opponent? Well, he's, I mean, if, if, you know, if, if we look at it realistically, he's top 20. Michael's top 20. And so now we look at who the opponents are in and around that level that are going to be able to, going to, be able to ask, ask more questions than Ruiz did today because he's dealt with this level that easily or that cleanly. So it's time to take the next step and do the same thing at the next level. We're gonna, we're just, he wants a, I'm going to take a leaf out of his book because he wants to um, enjoy the moment and, 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 and just let everything resonate from tonight. So I'm going to join him in that and not answer that question. Well, would you be on board for the match for the Pardon? The match for the toilet, they, they has, like, must be I'll refer to my previous statement. We're going to be in the can you put the bag of Bob suggest and BT Sport? Because some states are fake from Can we put that one? Yeah, <laughs> put that the bear. Put that the bear. That's not happening. Not me, me and Carla are friends and it's just not it wouldn't it wouldn't be right for the city, so that's not happening. Save yourself right now as a career customer. Would you be a great customer? Making money was also making memories and you need some memories to live on. Listen, see tonight for me and my whole family. And for the whole of the city, really. Um, but especially for, for, for me and my family, and my parents, I don't know how, how proud they actually feel because I, I'm very, very proud of this. But like, it's not just me, Jamie, my own brother, two, two boys from, from Cavendish Street, from 93 Cavendish Street, went out there and, and, and done that tonight and put on probably one of the best atmospheres the city has seen. So um, I don't think you'll see an atmosphere like that in boxing ever again. Well, maybe well, next year. Yeah. Is, you know what? You can never beat the first time. Yeah. You can never beat the first time. First time falls apart. No, I've, I've probably had a few for, for the team. I've probably had a few kickings here. So um, the fact that you know, I've, I've come out victorious this time is better. They're just shown tonight. Look, look. look. Look what can be achieved on, on your own doorstep. You know, it, we don't have any purposely built arenas but this arena is just made for this uh, th this event for, for, for tonight and, and you know it's, it's not always going to be here but it can be set up so um, it's amazing you look you've seen it how much did Carl have when he boxed in, in Titanic it was 15 or something or maybe more was it David 16, 16 you know that's uh, special like so you know they, they, those are the nights these are the nights I get in boxing for. The, this atmosphere and, and, and this feel is, is the nights I've, I've really turned pro. My, old, my dream was always to be an Olympic champion. It was never to be a world champion, but when you see, when you're in the amateur game for so long and you be in the arse hole of nowhere in, in, in Baku and there's 10 people there and none of them are even supporting you, it's not nice and you're probably fighting for a world title, you know what I mean? But you come here and you, uh, and you, you get atmospheres like this. People, people, you can't buy that. You can't, you really can't buy that. That's, that's a memory which will last me forever. I you, know, you just said there was no purpose built stadiums, but down the road, there's a stadium lying vacant. What would it be like to sit in Casement Park in front of If you years? had told me, like, what you'll be, you'll box in Casement Park one day, I'd have believed you. I would never have believed you to Falls Park. So, Casement Park has always been a dream for me. Um, my God, if that was done, that would be unbelievable. But you know, hopefully, uh, and I hope it's done. And my career span, you know, I hope it's done within that time. But um, let's get the bloody ball rolling. Two years time. <laughs> two, two years. Time two years time. time would be unbelievable. World title defense, because I'll be world champion by then. Good stuff. Cheers, that's yeah. Michael. Thanks, Michael. Just there. Uh, just get. Remember 10, how to go. What? 10, mate? Maybe 20. Thank you. Yes, good morning. Thank you, Mark. Yes, thank you, Mark. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Mark. Good atmosphere. Steve, what's happening? Cheers, Mark. Thank you. Have a good night. Thank you, Mark. Night. Thank you, Mark. 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 Thank you, Hello. Okay. I love your dress. Wow. Yeah, your exactly. skirt. We're going to go in the wee minute, okay? Mm -hmm. You want to go in the wee minute? I have to do a wee minute here for a second. Huh?